Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eternal Flames. This is Play speaking. Now, if you notice, I got me some legs. Look at them, they're so shiny and pretty and long, and just want to love all over them. Anyways, so you guys are probably looking into these things already, and obviously, you came here to see a little bit more. So, let's start off with when you get them. Now, going straight off your rotors, you're going to notice walker legs. They're also attached to your wheels tier 7 because it's a tier 7 set of mobility. If you notice, I haven't even gotten all of it yet, so I'm still experimenting a little bit. However, for the tutorial, we just need to go over basics. Now, in the idea and concept of basics, these things are high mobility and easy to work around. However, if you notice, they are fucking ginormous! These right here are not for small bots. If you're looking to build something itty bitty teeny weeny, this ain't your yellow polka dot bikini. It's not gonna work. You're gonna have to build a little bit bigger than you might feel comfortable with. But, hey, everybody loves a little bit of a big bot. So, let's go ahead and show these things off and let me explain what they can and can't do. Just keep in mind, these legs are a bit loud. So I do apologize, I did turn my volume down a bit, hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. I don't recommend this if you can't stand the noise. Speaking of noise, let's bring it. So starting off, if you notice, the turning's a bit tighter than you might be used to and it's a little bit wobbly, but hey, you know, legs, it happens. Let's say you make those sharp turns. Okay, so what else can they do? Well if you press shift, they duck, that's right, you kind of duck a little bit. It's not the greatest ducking in the world, but hey, you might dodge that one bullet that could have easily taken your head off. Who knows? They can jump, which can actually be mixed with, say, aerofoils and some uh, thrusters, and hey, you're that fly that you always hated. Okay, so what else can they do? Well, you see this wall? You see me going up this wall? It's kind of badass. This is not me hacking, I promise. <laughs> this is actually what they do, and they do it well. Along with the jumping, the legs will actually try to auto-correct themselves, allowing themselves to land, preferably, legs down. Similar to how the hovercraft hover blades will try to straighten you out as best to their knowledge. Now, aside from obviously the crawling, the jumping, and the ducking, how strong are these and what good are they? Well, if you notice when I stop, they stop completely. Unlike hover blades, which kind of wobble around a little bit more. So you'll actually be able to use your favorite um, <laughs> plasma launchers and rail cannons. Now, along with that, these do work well with SMGs and our favorite new healing lasers. However, keep in mind that the legs, compared to other forms, are very bulky, very big, and for their size, kinda weak. They're an easy target. They will be targeting your legs, and the moment they snag them, you're kind of SOL. Also keep in mind that if your legs are too far apart, you will have trouble climbing. Also, climbing upside down. Why? Because I can. Whee! Okay. So, high mobility with a bit more risk and I want to say a bit more reward. The ability to move into places that other bots can't really does help you. It kind of gives you a better chance to get into a position where you can assassinate and actually do more damage. Which means you probably want a radar disruptor and more than likely a radar on you so that you can track down all those other pricks that you're aiming to shoot out of the sky or maybe just assassinate out of the blue. Due to the weakness of these legs, I don't recommend using the nanotech. The nanotech, while it is strong right now, and while a lot of people are definitely getting into it, I can't recommend it with these legs due to the fact that you put yourself in way too much danger way too quickly. Unless you plan on doing one quick kill, it's not going to work out well for you. Not even with assisting your partners because chances are you're going to want to stay in places where other bots can't be and if you're healing, you probably want to actually stay out of view completely. Okay, well, then what is it good for? It's definitely good for getting up the cliff sides and stuff like that. Hey, you shot me. 
and it's definitely good for getting into positions where you can easily land those huge bombshell plasma launches. So you definitely want to invest in those. Maybe grab a sniper rifle, get to a high location, and start sniping people. It's definitely a, a good option. These legs, great mobility for those things, not so great for close range unless you're willing to take the risk. But I guess that's true of everything except for, well, no, it's true of everything. So, that's going to be it for me right now. You guys take care, stay safe, stay well. I hope to see you next time. If you like what we did, give us a like in the... Give us a like, give us a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe you want to see more. Feel free to check us out. As for me, I'm out of here. And just remember, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Yeah, upside down clown. Okay, later everybody!